Super Fool Stay and all, but we're actually not doing anything uh, too out of the ordinary today. Um, we're just doing kind of a normal gaming stream. There's not really anything peculiar about it um, of any sort. But thank you all so much for coming on by. <laughs> for some uh, some gaming it'll be you know pretty normal all, all the other kind of normal stuff i know people like to do kind of bits and stuff for april fools but that's not really my style so you know i'm just wearing my normal outfit um my normal overlays kind of playing my normal kind of games um but yeah it's just you know i really thought today we'd play a game that really uh kind of represents myself um you know being being a gal girl <laughs> Myself, my love for the for the Wild West. Um, it sure is a. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing so much today. That's kind of kind of peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want any daily check-in points. All right, well, if you don't want any daily check-in points, we can actually, um, if you go on over to the bartender at the Sloan, um, she'll ring you on up, and we can actually remove, I think, maybe five to ten um, daily check-in points from you if you don't want them. Um, so, yeah, instead of getting one today, you'll just remove... <laughs> We'll just remove those from you. Don't even worry about it. Well, hello, Capo Deco. Hello, Mina Michima. Hello, Sludge. Hello, Squaw Road. Hello, Drop Shotter. Hello, Rail Tracks. Hello, Top Gun Rocks. <laughs> Hope you're all having a fantastic evening. <laughs> Is this an unreleased Pikmin 4 DLC? I've actually never heard it. What is Pikmin? What is Pikmin 4? Is that some kind of a game? I actually don't know too much about, uh, don't know too much about, <laughs> don't know too much about stuff that's not really related to me. Like, I really like cowboys, cowgirls, wild west, horses, cows, sometimes pigs, but pigs can be a little finicky, you know? <laughs> I like uh, I like going to the saloon with my with my, <laughs> with my fellow ranchers. Well, howdy! Thanks for joining us, Taylor Luma. I know that a lot of people are doing special April Fool streams, but we're actually doing just a normal kind of gaming stream today. You know, I didn't really do anything different. This is just a pretty normal stream. All right, but I've never played this game before. West of Lothen. I think that it'll be pretty familiar to me in my daily life experiences. So we're just gonna. <laughs> saloon well it kind of depends on uh kind of depends on how i'm feeling that day you know sometimes they sometimes i, I order the uh the excitement juice and other times i order the chill juice you know it depends on how i'm feeling you know <laughs> all right so what are we gonna do here oh my god shooting target practice just about my favorite gosh dang thing in the whole world I'm so glad they could put that in here for us. Oh my goodness. Look at all that. Wow, look at all that meat I'm collecting. Oh my god. It really reminds me of that time. A um, couple months ago, there's a herd of buffalo that done come through uh, the encampment where I was staying with my with my fellow ranchers. And, uh, you know, we were able, we ambushed that buffalo from the side. And we were able to secure a buffalo to, uh, to you know, butcher up and eat. And, you know, the freezer's been filled with buffalo meat for God, dang near a month now. And it's still, I mean, the buffaloes are pretty big. They make a lot of... Uh, Produce a lot of meat when you uh when you when you put your <laughs> well, it's pretty good. Any any of you all here in chat ever tried buffalo meat? I'd say it's pretty good. I'd say it's pretty good. Better than squirrel, that's for sure. <laughs> How is there a gaming set up in the wet? Well, you know I don't I don't know where you're from, but I don't think the West is really that different than any other any other place. You know it's pretty scenic. We got. <laughs> You know, it depends on the year, but I mean, it's, I mean, I don't even, hell, I don't even know what year it is, but I'd say, you know, it's pretty, <laughs> it's not like we're living in the 1300s, you know? <laughs> Yo, hello, Mookie, hope 
hope you're having a right darn fantastic day here. All right, I guess I should probably stop my shooting practice. We should probably, oh my God, my meat reward is still going up. Oh my God, I got so distracted thinking about them buffalo. All right, what does this do? All right, well, it looks like we got some different uh, character options here. Bart Cartwright, okay. Sandy Cogburn, oh my God, I knew a Sandy Cogburn back in the day. We went to high school together. I mean, granted, she, she ended up, uh, you know, well, we, you know, we don't really actually want to talk about Sandy Cogburn. It's kind of a, you know, they, they told us not to really talk about her anymore after the incident. So, you know, don't worry about it, but I knew a Sandy Cogburn back in the day. That is so, oh my God, that is so silly. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most offensive stereotyping of John Wayne I have ever seen. Sadly, I don't even know who you're talking about. Who the hell is John Wayne? <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Oh my god, it sounds like one hell of a shooting shootout going on right outside. You gosh, you got that gosh dang right, Taylor Luma. You are so correct. Hello. Lowell, so glad you could join us. We're just having a normal old game stream today. Nothing too out of the extraordinary. All right. I brought her. I mean, how could you not bring up Sandy Cogburn, you know? I mean, it's hard not to. Also, Real Tracks, I only just saw your uh, your subscription to the YouTube channel. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Very much appreciated. That means my follow thing on the screen ain't, ain't quite working quite right, but that's okay. You know, what is what it is. You know, out in the West, we have to adapt to any kind of circumstances. You really never know what's going to happen. You're actually waiting at Twitch till you got the YouTube notification. Yeah, we, we had a, we've had a few uh, hitches in our plan as of late. You know, the multi-streaming was kind of causing some issues for some some of the other people with that Old West kind of internet. You know, you know how it is. I mean, the internet out here is a little... You know, it was a little hit or miss. People were having all sorts of issues, so I said, nah, we're, we're not gonna do that, that newfangled <laughs> faulty streaming anymore. <laughs> but we already had this YouTube waiting room up, so I just figured we'd go ahead and, you know, do a stream on YouTube, you know, for everyone, everyone to come out and see it. <laughs> you hate it here. Carrick, why are you hating it here? a normal old stream on a on a whatever day of the week it is we're just having a normal old stream we're gonna do a game never played this game before but i mean oh in the game everything is just as it always is who the hell is navi who the hell is navi do you see that up here on my screen where's that coming from who's navi and why does it say 20 oh my god oh no what's happening to the <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't roughly know what the heck's going on anymore. Oh my god, that is a little peculiar, I'd say. All right, get that, get that gosh dang stuff out of here. Oh my goodness, that is just so silly. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> but all right, we're ready for some uh, Sandy Cogburn action here, uh, playing as her, thinking about my friend Sandy from way back in the day. She's breaking character. What are you talking about? I'm just being myself, you know? You know, just being myself, my normal outfit, got my tassels on my on my little vest here, got my hat. <laughs> Hello, Hawk Bar Gaming. Thank you so much for popping on in. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a darn rootin' tootin' not Tuesday, Monday afternoon. <laughs> All right, play Shane Cogburn. We're ready to get going. Are you? I am absolutely gosh darn ready. Thank you so much for asking, game. All right, let's see. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. You know, I had a dream like that once, actually. All right, cow puncher, bean slinger, or snake oiler. All right, this is, you know, this is a very easy, easy decision here. You know, my great grandpa on my uncle's side, third removed, uh, because of Sandy Cogburn, um, was actually a snake oiler. So I actually learned a lot from him back in the day. I mean, whew, what a man that was. But he was actually the greatest snake oiler on this on this side of the Mississippi, I'd say. I mean, there's probably not too many on the other side of the Mississippi, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you sound like you're from the upper Midwest. You know, we're actually not gonna talk about my accent. You know, it's kind of an amalgamation of kind of all sorts of accents all over the place. And I don't really have an explanation for the, for the way the words are pronounced coming out of my mouth, but I'm just, you know, it's coming out the way it's coming out and that's just gonna be the way it has to be. Hello, Kiwi, hope you're having 
having a, a gosh darn rootin' tootin' Monday afternoon here. <laughs> <laughs> Ye Hanukkah definitely strikes me as a snake oiler. Sound good. Glad we're all in agreement, Shet. Snake oilers rely on their moxie and hutchba to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract potent oils from them snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers doing really well out in the West since cows came home. Oh my god, don't even get me dang started on when the cows came home. Oh my god, they're throwing in all these kind of references to my past. Oh my god, okay. Everybody here needs potions and hope in these dark days. And also out in the West is where all the best snakes are. That's actually true. I learned that from my from my uh, great-grandfather on my uncle's side. Uh, second, twice removed, you know? Whew, he was a fine snake oiler. All right, I want to be a snake oiler, I reckon. All right, what what do we have here? <laughs> Real test, how you say butter? 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 <laughs> Ain't no snake oiler got more dollars and cents if you can't my trip. <laughs> you were right about that one, Six. Whew, you were so right about that one. Howdy, he oh my goodness, is that a heck lemon in the chat? Hello, welcome in, heck lemon. We're just having a normal old game stream here today. Hope you uh, enjoy yourself. Hope you're having a rude and tootin' Monday afternoon. <laughs> All right, what we got going on here? You read the spine of one of your books, Jesse Danger in the Curse of the Old Outhouse. Rufus liked this one as much as I did. Oh my God, me and Rufus go way back. Oh my God, Rufus was actually my first friend that I ever made. It was my first ranching job out in the West. Oh my God, Rufus really, really showed me the ropes and showed me how to be the best rancher I could be. And you know, I really owe it all to Rufus. Oh my goodness, my goodness gracious, Rufus. May he rest in peace. Grandpappy told me he warned me about them snake oil. No, you don't have to worry about me. I'm the greatest snake oiler on this side, this side of the Mississippi. Don't even worry about it. Reckon he wasn't talking about you. Oh, thank you. Grandpappy knows his stuff. That's for sure. Grandpappy, oh, you can always trust Grandpappy. That's for sure. Do you love me some loathing over West? Oh, my God, me too. And I ain't even done anything yet. I mean, I am full of loathing and we are in the West right now, but that's about it. All right. Read the spine of one of your books. Percy Danger in the Dark Citadel. Mom gave me this one a few years ago. Oh my God, I'm frozen in place. I sure don't know how that could be occurring. <laughs> sure would be weird if anyone was redeeming Twitch to Channel Boy redeems on my thing. I don't even know what Twitch is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I didn't think about turning all that stuff off, but I'll leave it on for now if you behave. Percy Danger in the Dark Citadel. Mom gave me this one a few years ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to Swift and the Incident at Vampire Gulch. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. That's true. That's yeah, true. We might have turned off the sound alerts, so. I don't know about the sound alerts. I don't know if it really fits you into this vibe of, uh, you know, today. I mean, I don't even know where those came from, because I'm just doing a normal stream as my cowboy self. You know, what we always do. Never done anything different than this. But I don't know where those sounds are coming from, but maybe let's get them out of here. I don't even know where the heck that came from. Get those sounds out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Is there any more books on this bookshelf? Whoa, shit! If I just mash through it, that's the answer. If you mash through it, you'll get yourself a book. I got an item walking stupid. Well, that's one way to say it. This book tells a tale of a renegade sheriff who is really, really bad at what... Oh, my God, might be me in a couple years. You guys think I could be the, the, the gosh dang sheriff of this here town? Goodbye, desk. All right, guess we got a comb bar here. Oh, we got some XP. All right, very nice. That uh, good things happen when you comb your hair. Sometimes you can even get some XP. Oh! Hey, Russell, how you doing? Cool. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, I'll feed you a cricket, little buddy. Grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed a Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Goodbye, Russell, be good. Or he could come with me. Let's see here. I mean, I don't know what kind of dangers we're gonna have out in our out in our adventure here being the snake oiler, so maybe it'd be best if he just um, stayed back here at home. I don't know. Never gave myself the opportunity to give this one a shot, but I sure did love me the gameplay loop for what I saw elsewhere. Exciting! Yeah, hope you can give it a try, old heck lemon. I think that it seems like a very nice game. 
a nice game. Walking stupid. Why am I in the game? Nah, you walk as normal as J Jimmy on down the street, Care. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> uh, oh, but I also meant to say, even though I turned off them sounds and I didn't know where, where they were coming from, I do appreciate that sound alert. Thank you for that. I do appreciate it, Clarkson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we think? Should we bring this, uh, this gosh dang bird with us? I don't know. What if it causes a ruckus out on the, the carriage taking us further west? I don't know. You know, maybe we'll just take him with us. You never know. We can bring him back if he causes too much of a ruckus. Open your bedroom window. Not pictured and unlatched door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, and then flies away to the west. Well, I... Be. I didn't realize I was letting him go out the window. I thought he was gonna come with me. Thought I was gonna pack him in my suitcase or something. Sound alert, don't you just hear sound? Don't talk. Don't worry about that. Don't even worry about it. All right, time to hit the trail. Let's see. Goodbye, phonograph. Oh, I don't, I don't want to turn that off. I, I, I quite like actually our uh, pretty dramatic music going on here. It really reminds me of what it's like to be back home. I I just realized I don't have a single meat to my name. All that, all that shooting in the shooting, shooting competition earlier didn't give me a single gosh dang meat to my name. I don't know how I'm gonna afford my liquor down to the saloon at this rate. Nothing on the hat rack today. What a minute. We gotta stack them firewoods. We can't, we can't have our house looking like a mess before we go out and on adventure. All right, we gotta, this hearth really puts the hearth and hearth and home. My goodness, it sure does. Throw a log. Whoa! Okay, I wasn't quite done actually looking at the house. We got a little bit more exploring to do. I'm gonna miss mom's cooking. Whew! That's for sure. Mom's cooking ain't nothing else compares to it. Mom's pie safe keeps all her pies safe. Very reasonable. My mom's quite a reasonable woman, actually. Um, you know, it's really actually quite revolutionary what she's done with the pie safe. You know, all the all the other moms on my street now have installed a pie safe in their home, and it was all thanks to my mom. All thanks to my ingenious mom. <laughs> who <laughs> was really the first to think that uh that the world really needed a pie safe in it you know my little brother's room oh my gosh i'm gonna miss the heck out of my little brother when i head out on my adventure pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it runelagen einer allgemeinen manischwerdschwerschla i think this is about math maybe i think that might be right what else he got here you pick up you pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it <laughs> <laughs> Uber die Anzal der Primsalen unter einer gegebenen Gross. None of it makes a lick shit to me. You got that right, buddy. Oh my god. Pick up one of your brother's weird books, flip through it. I think that's also about Matt. That little buddy, oh my god. He was actually the first in the whole school to uh, uh, be able to recite an entire multiplication table. That, oh my gosh. I don't know where the heck he gets it from because it sure ain't me, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know how that boy came to be such a dang gosh dang mathematician but he really makes us proud he really makes us proud you know scarlet vt welcome on <laughs> welcome on in hope you're having a good one today it's my kid brother's toy box all right let's look inside we got a puzzle cube oh my gosh he loves those gosh dang puzzle cubes i'll tell you what his bed's nice and tidy you know he's nothing like me my little brother but i love him to bits you know <laughs> all right we can't go this way. No time to screw around the woods. Time to head west. I reckon that's true. Mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's that book you won for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... Um, let's see. What kind of book... What kind of book was it that I was waiting for to receive from my mom that I was wanting? Picking locks, desert survival, bartering... I don't know about all this. Desert survival, bartering. Well, I'd say as a snake oiler uh, myself, I'd say maybe the bartering would be the, the most wise option for myself, you know, so I can barter my wares better. That accidentally toggled something that I didn't mean to know. <laughs> Think I subscribed to you a while ago from a rigging video. Well, I appreciate you being here, Scarlet. 
<laughs> We're having a totally normal, uh, normal stream here on April 1st today. Nothing out of the ordinary at all. Not a single bit at all. <laughs> so what's over under on Yeehaw and a could practice in our accent for several hours prior to stream? That's actually so funny that you asked that because I was thinking about that. I mean, if in theory, you know, about an hour before stream, I was starting to get a little anxious about this stream and how I'm actually really bad at accents. And then I went to, you know, yeah, theor theoretically, if, if someone needed to do that, they might try to Google how to do a cowboy accent and find the resources that are actually quite lacking. I don't really know what to say about this, uh, the way the, the words are being pronounced that are coming out of my mouth. I don't think it really means much of anything. I don't think it's really placed anywhere, but, um, you know, it is what it is. It's just the way I speak. <laughs> All right, what's my mom say? We got our book, Mind Our Meat. You bet your bottom dollar on mind my meat. Don't even worry about it, Mom. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, Mom. Goodbye. All right, let's see. My dad's over here. We got to give my dad a fond farewell as well. Your father morosely dabs at the haystack. Time for me to leave, Dad. His, liver, his li lip quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. Oh, my God. I have been wondering when I was going to get this briefcase full of snakes for my grandma. Oh, my God. I have always envied that briefcase full of snakes, and I'm so right gosh darn happy that I have it in my possession now. Thanks, Dad. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. Yeah, I did. Don't even worry about it. Bye, Dad. <laughs> you got to go with your mod for a friend of yours? No worries, Scarlet. I super appreciate you popping in on by. Hope you're having a fantastic Monday evening. Good luck with the rest of your day. <laughs> It's a good thing I bet $1,000 on you not doing so. Make me feel good about my decision. Yeah! I mean, if I were to try to look up such a thing anyway, I would find that there wouldn't really be too many resources for what I was looking for. So, uh, you know, we just had to work with what we have in our brains, which uh, isn't very much. <laughs> You're right, Capo Deco. I was mighty impressed when I heard her accent last stream. She almost sounded like her Western accent didn't even exist. Mighty fine work. Glad you could relax on the throat. I know. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes, you know, I've thought about doing them character streams where I, where I, you know, I'm just some little silly old blue-haired girl. You know, maybe I'll even put on some red, shed my, my, my natural brown vest here, put on some red, pretend to be someone I'm not, but this is really who I am at its core, and I think I should respect that you know <laughs> your mom raised her eyebrow because i accidentally ran into her i just want one more hug before i leave mom nothing to worry about smiles and hugs you again all right bye mom guess it's my little brother over here oh my goodness hello your brother rufus standing here looking nervous he's pretty good at looking nervous well little buddy i guess i have your puzzle block here that i could give you back hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it all right partner guess it's time for me to say goodbye hey rufus time for me to head west I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? Well, I really think that with my snake oil, I really can help people change the world. So, you read the papers, Rufus. People out west are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous. 6% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came up. Woo! They just keep bringing that up. Oh my gosh, what a hoot and holler. But don't even worry about it, Rufus. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. Still think you'll be dead by Crambo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. All right, give him a playful punch on his arm. Then we're, we're gone, uh, fella. Go west, young woman. I reckon we will. I reckon we will hit your ride across them great plains here. We have some uh, credit sequence. Perfect. Nice time for uh, me to take a sip of my uh, beverage that I bought down there at the saloon. I think the saloon's really kind of underrated place for uh, kind of getting all your socializing in. I mean, a lot of people just go down there, order some, some beverages, and uh, order more beverages. But me, I like to kind of get to know everyone in the saloon, talk to my neighbors down there. Oh, get caught up on all the gossip. I mean, that's even the place that I was when I heard about uh, about that s s 
Sally Cogwell <laughs> that I knew back in high school. <laughs> I mean, where the heck else are you gonna get, get your news? I mean, out on the ranch, we're just working so hard. There ain't no time for chit chat, not a single second. <laughs> Drinking juice all the town folk, that's right. That's one of my favorite gosh dang activities. Well, the bad news is that you fell off your car and got knocked out for a couple hours, and now you got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. Good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much for town, though. All right, we'll get up and dust ourselves off. Who the heck is that? I reckon that feller had too much drink down there in the saloon. Let's see, you doing all right, buddy? Excuse it. Excuse me, lady. I'm Kit Cambosia, dear. All right, feller, I'll let you uh, shamble on home as you will. Oh, we got a turnip in the grass. That'll make a nice dinner for later, perhaps. Hello? I don't know why I can't go up beyond this spot. I guess that rock there in the ground was kind of blocking me. Whoa! Well, I'll be in my town. We don't have these here cactuses. I didn't realize these dang prickles would hurt so much. Oh my God, am I gonna be okay? 300 miles too far to go on foot. You need a horse. Oh my God, I can't wait. I used to have a horse back in the day. She was actually the most faithful horse, most beautiful gosh dang horse you'd ever seen. Oh my God, her name was, uh, her name was Sheila. And uh, she really was there for me when no human was, you know? I wonder if I, oh, sheesh, sheesh. They really know how to scare a lass like me, huh? Yikes, you got a perk, mostly scabs. Ew, what is that? Where should we go? What is a BS horsery? Sign on the door says, go and drink. Oh my God, I wonder if that's a BS horsery man there himself. He's uh, certainly out there gone drinking. Guess you'll have to go to the town dock and get yourself a checkup. Just be on the safe side of thing. I think you might be right with that one there, but we'll see. I don't quite know my, uh, know my way around this town yet. So I guess I'll just go to places as they appear to me. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting on the left door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, dang nabbit? Well, I can't drink in here without a hat. Take proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. All right, guess we're going to get ourselves a hat. I mean, I have a hat on my head. I don't know why that's not good enough for him. Look through the hat box, find a battered derby. That looks like something you'd wear. Grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, sir. Pete. Thanks, Pete. Gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy, nod. Say, gal! Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. All right, I'll keep it in mind. Whew, that Pete is quite a nice fellow. Ah! These two are playing poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their dick, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Um, well, looks like for me to play, I'd need 20 meat, and I don't have that, so maybe we can find somewhere to perhaps get some stuff like that. All right, this man's sleeping. Can I wake you up? I don't reckon I can. Have a nice sleep, sir. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, God soaks, there's a horn toad in my tent. Uh-huh. Pete takes a swig of his whiskey. See you later, Pete. Oh my gosh, that Pete, he is just so silly. If I rummage through this hat box again, can I get a new hat? You already have a hat, what'd you do with two? Okay, fair enough, you are right though about that, little guy. Walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for Lost Mugs 25 each. Bartender finally noticed you. Howdy, cowgirl. Howdy, barkeep. Name Sandy. What brings you out to our little backwater? Oh, the usual. I came out from the west to make my fortune. Don't have much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a wheel job, I'd recommend t talking to the railroad people up by Derwy. Oh my god, some of my best friends were... <laughs> <laughs> Work the railroad. Uh, maybe I'll run into some of them on this journey. All right, let's ask about that. The railroad, the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring? 
Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. What about dirt water? Dirt water is interesting. It's far enough west that it's more or less exempt from the rule of law, but not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by the damned cows. Lots of opportunity there. Pauses for a few seconds, lost in thought. Yep, if I were a younger woman, I'd probably head that way myself. So, you mentioned errands. Yeah, this forsaken bird's always falling apart in one way or another. Hustler's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no account Sheriff could certainly stand to have someone doing his job for him. Alright, anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cowpoke in the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I reckon I can probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. I got myself a week fun side. Alright, let's finish talking to all my patrons. <laughs> you probably don't like the blue with the brown. Sticks out too much. <laughs> Real funny like. <laughs> well, heck finds a color combo mighty fine, he must say. Couldn't imagine otherwise. You know what? I don't quite see colors in the same way you all do, so really there ain't no telling. <laughs> Ain't no telling what I think of any colors, really, at the end of the day. Ain't no telling when the cows come home. Howdy, I'm Sandy. Howdy, Sandy, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. What the gosh dang heck is a hot town hostler? I'm the town horse selling guy. Oh, how's that working out for you? Oh, these horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Well, is that why you're here drinking instead? Uh, yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. You have any left? One. Kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show you. Well, I... B, we found ourselves a horse seller. I hope I have enough meat to afford such a thing, but that is grand news today for us. Bro's <laughs> name is Horse. <laughs> well, I'd say it's a little bit improper to make fun of people's names, little lady. <laughs> this woman glares at you. She probably just let her drink. All right. Well, are there any more? We have a piano player. Oh, my God. Goodness gracious, I ain't ever seen a piano in all my days. Them are some kind of heavy instruments. Kind of hard to move around the place, so you don't often, uh, no, don't often see them when in the town where I grew up. That's one of them newfangled city folk kind of things, you know? I should probably leave them alone. Well, I'd like if this feller could teach us maybe a thing or two about learning to play the piano, but I'll leave him be. You know, I like his tunes. He can, he can keep on playing. Don't want to interrupt him. <laughs> <laughs> now, what in the Sam Hale's going on down here? Paolo's newspapers. Yeah, we can take one. Boring Springs Gazette, April 20th, 1895. All right, sounds about right. We got some rocks. We have, uh, we have that little guy down there in the left-hand corner. I don't really know what to make that either. Some whiskey. Create a nurse brand whiskey. Good for what ails you. I can't turn down a bottle of whiskey. You know me. Guess we never establish your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar. Whew! You know I can do that, fella. <laughs> you got an item, nurse brand whiskey. Yeah! That is some grand news. All right, well, we have to address the elephant in the room, or shall I perhaps say the goblin in the room? Let's see, do you speak, fella? Goblin shouts, Bray, yuck! All right, I reckon it's time for a duel, little goblin fella. Barkeep, give me for all this mm, goblin action. Where are my items? What? Didn't I have a gosh dang pesticide, fungicide thing? Where is it? Action, melee attack, snake whip, deploy snake, surrender. Where the hell is my fungicide? Well, I reckon in a time like this, we can always pull out my pistol. You know, that thing's always a half a second away from my hand. I've been- Whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, jeez. That's not too good. Well, 
What the hell is an AP? Oh, I reckon that's action point. All right, all right. Surrender, snake whip, melee attack. Mm. I really thought that I'd be able to use my fungicide in a time like this. I don't know where the hell it is. I don't know what the heck I did with it. All right, well, them goblin fellers never know when to, uh, they never really expect a snake to come out of a briefcase, so maybe we'll try that. All right, that did five health. That's pretty good. Oh, he's punching my snake now, but that's all right. I reckon he'll uh, keep doing some damage, so maybe we can just whip out my pistol a little more. My snake feller's gonna help out. All right, we got this. Don't even worry about it, partners. We are good to go. We are gonna win this battle. Don't even worry about it. my snake oh my goodness my snake's gonna make it out alive though i got him we got him don't even worry about it we won have dispatched goblin pat yourself on the back for a job well done yeah skill up moxie level two Whew. <laughs> he left spores everywhere though you hose him down with that can of fungicide all right i reckon we got to use it in the end that works out for us don't it all right, I reckon this place is all cleared out. We can go upstairs for our reward. Maybe play around poker or something. I'm going to make the presumption that the fungicide down there can't be selected and not that you didn't try to use it. You know what else? You know what I just realized? I don't know if I looked to see if I had any cool sort of item bag I could have gosh dang clicked. I don't know if I considered such a thing. But we'll see in our next battle if I have access to my items. Alright, howdy! Howdy, good to see you again, Sandy. You tip your hat towards the bartender. Speaking of tipping my hat, I may have actually been trying to do some sort of animation technique to make it look like, uh, make it look like I was tipping my hat for y'all. Some kind of animation, you know. But it wasn't quite really working out too well for me in the limited time I was trying to do that. Um, you know, we had to glue this hat on my head, so it don't really budge if I, if I try to go tip it. <laughs> I'm trying to give you a little tad hip. A tad hip! <laughs> a <tat> hip. <laughs> What's an animation? Well, you know those moving pictures uh, that they're coming out with? I mean, maybe you've seen, um, what's that new one that just came out? Um, The Great Train Robbery? <laughs> Have you... <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that new moon picture, the great train robbery? <laughs> I think that one recently came out. Um, that's what I'm referring to. It's kind of something like that. It's a moving picture. <laughs> Real interesting, like. <laughs> Animation? Ain't that that the little old lady down the street? Oh my god, you know what? I reckon you're actually right about that, Heck Lemon. I think that animation, little old animation they call her, I think that that was actually Sandy's cousin. Sandy's second cousin, let me let me clarify that. No first cousin, second cousin. She, whew, what a hoot and a holler that little animation was. But uh, don't tell Sandy I accidentally caught her a cousin, you know. That's, oof. Whew, she'll be on my tail if, if she heard that. <laughs> there must be a laughing gas leak in this here saloon. No, no, I don't know what to say about that. I'm not even sure if I rightly know what the heck laughing gas is. What is that? <laughs> All right, let's see what we can kill her. I took care of that goblin. Who's that lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? Just thought I'd say howdy. All right, well, first things first. I did take care of that gosh dang there goblin that was in that basement. I do rightly need my reward. Thank you kindly, Sandy. I knew you was a stand-up gal the moment you walked in here. She reached on the table, grabs a bag of meat. Here you go. It's the least I can do by way of thanks. Oh, my goodness. 200 meat be able to play so many rounds of poker with them this here meat oh my god thank you so much all right now who is that lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug she didn't really want to talk to me that's Susie. she's a rancher from nearby real tough broad i ain't recommend you piss her why is that 
Lost her old family to a KO tech recently. Got some pinup frustrations about it. Ouch. All right. Well, no worries, Susie. I mean, I'm a fellow fellow rancher gal, so uh, you know, I know what it's like. But uh, you know, if you don't if you don't want to socialize right now, that's you know that's all right with me. That's all right with me, Suze. All right. Now that I have some money, maybe we can play some. Uh, maybe they can deal me into this here poker game. Can I play? All right. These two are playing poker. At least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from the hands to the hell to play poker card that came with their dick, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Oh my God! If I were, I have been on this here stream for for, for forty minutes, and I haven't done anything in this game. That is, that's real silly. Like I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I love poker being a uh, being a cowgirl out in the old west. You know what I mean? So I'd love to to deal into this hand of poker right here. Can I play? They look at you nervously. Look, I have some meat. Let's play. Put twenty meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards sloppily and deals a new round. You got a pair of hands plus a two, a three, and a king. All right, uh, well, let's see here. I did level up my moxie a little bit. Um, and I guess there are some new players, real new like. So, you know what? We're gonna go all in. We're gonna be a little crazy. I mean, that's what they—that's what they really called me back in the in, back in the day, crazy Annika. You know. <laughs> It's one of the better nicknames they gave me back in the day. You don't want to hear about the other ones. I don't really, really like to talk about them. Got past character creation strain, so a win's a win. Well, oh, B, I didn't know standards so low here. Are your standards always so low? I'm a little concerned if that's really kind of... <laughs> if that's where your standards are in all aspects of life. I would reckon you done did quite a lot. Goblin ringing ain't no easy day. Well, that is actually so true. My, um, my, uh... My mother's uh sister was a goblin wrangler. <laughs> she had to quit after about six months because it was just, you know, she was not up for that task. Some of them goblins are just real nasty. Like I'm not a big fan of not a big fan of goblins. But if if you live in a town with a with a plentiful uh you know agricultural situation they got plenty of fungicide for all the plants so it's really you know the goblins don't really like them their towns with the with all the with all the fungicide so you know depending on where you live sometimes you don't really have to deal much with the goblins all right so i say let's do it let's bet a little crazy Eat this, all in, suckers! Sweat gushes from their faces as they each read the how to play poker card again, but eventually they both add 20 meat to the pot. Oh my goodness, I reckon I am hitting buttons that I should not be hitting. <laughs> Sweat, uh, I already read that. Okay, read them and weep! You show your pair of tens plus two, three king. Gal on the left has a full house, two jacks and three aces. And the gal on the right somehow got a straight flush, two through six in hearts. Well, you know, I reckon a situation like this almost always calls for some horn swoggling, you know? I really think that that's what we should be doing about right this time. Explain that jacks are worth 9 points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points, and the gal on the right 20, and you're 25 plus a king. When the king represents, oh hey, look over there! They look, and when they look back, they don't notice a 10 meat missing from each of their piles. You collect your winnings and stand up. They thank you for helping them learn the game. Whew! All the day's work, I was a snake oil salesman, I tell you what! Whew! <laughs> <laughs> well, you best must understand that I may be in possession of one mod storage for a lass over in the east who takes a whole two hours trying to pick out a dress if you catch my drift. My goodness, oh my god, them girls out in the east sure are. I didn't mean to run into this, but I'll worry about that in a second. Them girls in the east sure are silly like. I mean, it must be like them city girls I hear about taking two hours poor, poor pick out pick themselves out of dress. I mean, for me, I wear the same thing just about every day. This is my outfit every single day. Put on my hat, put on my vest, in that order, mind you. Very important to put on the hat first for reasons that will not be explained. Um, you know, and then I just go out there, 
throw out there every day, come home, take it off, next day put it on again. I mean, we don't have no washing machines around here like they do in the city. <laughs> so when it gets... <laughs> I don't want to bore you with all this uh with all this clothes talk don't even worry about it but yeah i don't quite know what that'd be like take two hours <laughs> take two hours <laughs> take two hours to pick out a dress <laughs> what an honorable lady i must say feeding them infant poker addictions ah you betcha i mean i well, first played poker around the ripe age i'd say three and a half or so that's pretty pretty normal age i'd say to start learning the game of poker and uh you know my pa and ma really uh really i learned from the best is all i gotta say <laughs> you know when in doubt you just gotta horn swoggle and that's really the answer you really got a knack for saying a bunch of junk that makes me want to ask more questions and i reckon i better be asking and like i don't even want to tell you about how gross them here things in looks like we got two options here we can ignore it or we can look in it i must say i'm a pretty curious guy curious like gal um i'm a little curious about what we might find in there yeah full of spit right oh see that there dip regular spit gross tobacco spit chewing gum and it looks like a few teeth as well oh my god that must be grandpa joe's teeth oh he is always losing them things oh my goodness grandpa joe grandpa joe you're gonna need to put a uh <laughs> never mind we aren't gonna worry about it <laughs> well Howdy, Rune. Hope you're having a right darn rootin' tootin' Monday afternoon. Hope you're having a good one, Rune. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for popping in for our totally normal stream here. I reckon something went wrong here. Something's wrong in my head, I reckon. My head's a little wrong, like I'd say. <laughs> All right, it's disgusting, this spittoon, though. And the smell, even from a distance, it smells horrible. Well, I suspect I might see something in there. Or now on your hands and knees peering into a filthy encrusted spittoon. I don't I don't understand what's wrong with you. <laughs> Me either, game, I'll tell you what. Whoo! Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? <laughs> yeah! I done did it again, gamers. We done found ourselves treasure. You reach your hand towards a spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like vomit. Uh, vomit trough out of Mexican barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. But I tell you what, I will never surrender. I am not a quitter. I mean, I've been ranching on the ranches out here for gosh dang near 10 years, but now I've converted to snake oil salesman. I really been through hell and back, been through hell and high water. I've gosh darn done dang done anything. <laughs> Done everything under the sun till the cows came home. I am no quitter. <laughs> Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. Makes it sound like guap. <laughs> your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. We gotta search. We gotta keep on searching. Fingers make contact with something. Pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly. Not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. Whew. Reminds me of back in, uh, back in, back in probably gosh dang near seven and a half years ago when my, when my cousin Timmy done knocked over a, uh, <laughs> I don't even, we don't have to worry about what the heck he knocked over. Don't even worry about it. I forgot he told me never speak about that incident again. <laughs> Oh, reckon something went wrong here. Oh my goodness, were you perhaps referring to some kind of sh stability stream issue? Well, I hope it's gosh dang near fixed. I ain't dropped any frames on my end, so hopefully it done righted itself out, you know? April Fools are knowledge, a good look for you. Thank you, Rune. Woo! You know I love uh, 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 being a cowgirl, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the, the fact that it's April Fool's is actually not really related to anything because we're just doing a normal old game stream today. I mean, I never played this game before, but everything else about this stream, pretty gosh dang normal like I reckon. <laughs> Misfortune basalt falls you. You must keep them cows at bay. Ride right on me, Hanukkah. Ain't nothing to worry 
carry yourself over, Heck Lumen. Thank you so much for coming out to the stream today. I really appreciate it. Best of luck wrangling them cows. Oh my god, I've been a rancher quite a few years now, so I know all about that. Hope you have a good one, partner. <laughs> We need more on a Western stream. Well, I don't know what you're referring to because that's actually every day we do a stream. We do a gosh dang dang darn here Western stream. I mean, I'm just really being myself out here. <laughs> I'm just really being my inner self. This is who I am inside. I've done this every, I mean, multiple times a week for years now. I don't know what you're talking about implying this ain't some kind of normal phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what this gosh dang shiny thing is that I got here out of here, this here darn spittoon. All right, fingers make contact with something. Pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You Pair have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. Got an item, nasty ring. Whoo! Well, I reckon someone lost their here wedding ring in this spittoon, or maybe they, maybe they intentionally put it down in this here spittoon. No one, no one ever empties this gosh dang thing out. Some of this spit in here probably been fermenting for about two, three years now. My goodness, by the look of it, oh, that is not, that's not okay. You know what I mean? Hope it's not a wedding ring, though, but I reckon if it is, you know, maybe I'll find who it belongs to. All right, I reckon I'm about here done with this saloon. Let's see if there's piano man. No, he still don't want to talk to me. I get it. He's a loner. A wallflower. Piano player. So let's check in on them here poker friends. They don't have enough meat left to bother with. Seems like they're playing for spiders now. Oh, my God. Have you? ever played a card game with your friends where you gotta put a penny in every time you uh, be, uh you gotta pass in the game you gotta put a penny in whoever wins get that whole pot Whew, i have the bestest memories doing games like that card games my aunt and uncle and my grandpa and my great grandpa and my great grandma and my father uh, my father's father on my mom's side twice removed Whew! Those really are the days. Oh my god, that really highlight of my childhood, I'll tell you what. Oh my god, it's the sheriff. You know, I'm kind of hoping they'll let me be your sheriff here in this gosh dang town one day. I mean, I kind of like the way this town's shaping up to be. I mean, real interesting, like I'd say. Who? Who are you? How to stranger welcome born springs? I'm sheriff in these parts. The what? He sighs. The sheriff. Okay, blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't have me looking for work, would you? Um, well, that's kind of a loaded question here because I kind of, um, I kind of have to do some work, but I don't know what kind of work you'd be offering here. So maybe let's see what you're offering first before I make any kind of decisions, you know what I mean? Well, how does this grab you? There's a gang of hoodlums around here what call themselves a fricker gang. Last uh, time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with him. It ain't, the uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. Whoo, boy, I know all about them breaking out of them jail cells. My stream channel likes put me in jail all the gosh dang time. Oh my gosh, they just love doing that. So I'm real familiar with the, the process of breaking out of prison. And we aren't going to talk about uh, talk about them other arrests, uh, you know, being wanted out here in the West. No, we don't. Don't worry. You, don't worry yourselves about that. Anyways, uh, what do you need about that? I need someone tough, smart, and or slick to fetch it back for me. Well, I reckon I am both tough, smart, and slick. Oh my god, I might be your gal for the job. Um, why don't you do it your sheriff after all? Hmm, I reckon I'll give it a shot. I don't really trust in the sheriff's ability to get his job done, if you know what I mean. Whew! Alright, I'll give it a shot there, sheriff. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. Whoop. Takes pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. You got an item, deputy pistol. Whoo! I gosh dang need a new pistol. Mine's getting a little rusty, but I mean, I do all my pistol cleaning myself. That's really a badge of honor around these parts, you know, keeping all your uh, your tools and weapons in right proper order. But, uh, you know, I just got to use that gosh darn thing so much. And all that time I spent on, on the ranch, I got a little kind of slack behind all my pistol cleaning sometimes. I do. Ooh! 
One of these days we're gonna have an issue with that. That rust is gonna misfire and we are not gonna have a good time with that. So I really appreciate this here deputy pistol you gave. Deputy? You deputized a gun? <laughs> here new in town, maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. Here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang's hideout is for you. It makes a little note on your map. You discovered a new map location, the Fricker Gang's hideout. All right, you got it. I'll be back at that door quicker than you can say, uh, skedaddle. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Simple Moose. Welcome on in. Glad to have you here. Hope you're having a rootin' tootin' Monday afternoon, evening, or morning. <laughs> Hopefully not all three at the same time. That'd be a little, uh, a little scary, but, uh... <laughs> Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good day. We're having a pretty normal-like stream here on this April 1st today. Fricker, such foul language. We about to bust some semi classics at Sonic Speed, you hear? Oh boy, you talk just like my aunt, uh, my aunt, uh, my aunt Sally, you know? <laughs> my aunt Sally talks just like that. <laughs> do you actually have a toothpick? You want to see my gosh dang ear toothpick? I reckon I do. I reckon I do. I've been chewing this same one for about, uh, about a month or so now. It's a miracle it hasn't splintered on me. Um, but, uh, yeah, we got, we got this toothpick here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty skilled at, you know, keeping it where it's supposed to be, you know. Oh, my God, where'd my music go? It's kind of really maybe to you. Seems like we might be defining, defying laws of physics and that Isaac Newton there stuff or something. But, you know, I mean, I've been chewing toothpicks since I was right, right about three years old. So, you know, this is just something you got to get good at. If you need any, uh, any tips for doing such thing, I reckon I can, uh, give you some pointers. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome on in, Moose. Hope you're having a hope you're having a good evening. <laughs> Has toothpick, no tooth to pick. Ah, boy, reckon I better show you my gosh dang teeth. You can't see them here, right clear as day. Why can't I move myself? Oh my God, here we go. I got some teeth. Just cause you ain't see them, just cause I ain't show them very much, doesn't mean I don't have them. I mean, look here. you <laughs> <laughs> all right i'll be back at the door all right let's see if there's anything low whoa where's some wanted posters back here if we need ourselves a little side adventure while we're trying to save the world and all it's creepy now that i can see him so much i mean there ain't much to smile about around these parts i tell you what i ain't got much much opportunity to show them show you my teeth if you know what i mean i mean Pretty, pretty solemn work around here, being a rancher, now a snake oil salesman, you know. Ain't much to smile about. It's a pretty challenging life around, around these parts, you know. But, you know, that's why I'm going a little more west. I think that uh, going a little more west might might uh, might give me a new purpose in life, you know. Maybe put, put that smile back on my face, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bimmy Fricker for face thieving. Oh, my goodness, what the heck is face thieving? Help wanted, wanted poster artist. Oh my goodness, where the heck my wig done gone? I didn't realize that such a thing would occur. I didn't mean for such an action to occur. Oh boy, we better turn that off with a quickness. Ain't that true? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be mysteriously losing my hair all day. That's real mysterious, like, I reckon. <laughs> I don't know how such a thing could have occurred. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, you've eaten your last haul. Oh, I swear to goodness, you ain't getting no more of this stuff around here. I, I tell you what, you ain't getting no more for right now. <laughs> My hair comes back and show over for you. Oh my god, you don't know what you've done. Your hat sure looks 10 gallons out all that blue fur. Well, I done picked this wig out from the wig shop myself, you know. I quite like how it looks on my head. You know, betwixt my, <laughs> my head and my hat. So I don't think that's a very kind thing for you to say that you don't like that blue fur up there. I done picked it out from the wig shop myself. <laughs> Them dang fricker gangs at it again. Oh my god, they they done stole the door. Now they done stole my wig. But don't you worry, I got it back real quick like I reckon. 
<laughs> Horror I wanted for bird theft and naked Mike Bernstein. I hope he ain't steal my burn. My burn? My bird that I laid out the window. Oh my god, I didn't mean to talk to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I reckon I'll look for them fellers on my map. Where? This ain't a very good map, I reckon. Make your own damned guide to the Boring Springs and its environs. Town of Boring Springs, the Fricker Gang's hideout. Well, I reckon... <laughs> this compass on this here map only has west, and I mean, the reason for it is that's the only direction that really matters at the end of the day. You know, we just gotta keep going west till you can't go west anymore. Oh my god, it's a tradesman out in the wire. What do you have to sell me, sir? Step right up, step right up. Braid's a name and trade's a game. You seriously doubt his name is Braid? Whew! That's the, that the name your mama gave you, boy? Hey, why are we looking at my feet? Help! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd take my cowboy boots off today. Maybe switch into some uh, something a little, a little more relaxing for today. <laughs> you weren't supposed to be looking at my them their feet. You know what I'm saying? You weren't supposed to be looking down there. I don't got my boots on. You know, I don't even really feel complete without my boots on. So uh, maybe don't look there again. <laughs> All right, I seriously doubt your name is Braid, fella. Healthy Braid, what are you trading? Well, madam, today I'm trading locks of soap and a stick to my for a needle. Whew! And to the cunning skinner who keeps bringing me three rattlesnake guys, well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. Oh! Fine silver pocket watch! Oh my god, my pa had one of them there back in the day. Back when I was about maybe five years old, but then we got, uh, we got, ran into a gang of thieves, you know, out on the trail, and, uh, you didn't have no fine silver pocket watch after that, let me tell you. Oh my goodness. I always hoped you'd give it to me when I was old enough, but, uh, you know, luck of the draw, I guess. All right, I don't have any dang soap or any dickering. That's what he's wanting, apparently. So, no trades for me right now, partner, but I appreciate it. I'll see you later. All right. Oh, my goodness, this Capo Deco mentioned maybe we should try going around to the medical doctor, but uh, I think that's what this is, and I reckon, uh, I reckon it's close for now. Alice MD, whoa! I reckon there might be a feller hiding in this here cactus. You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself. And the name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I did listen. Oh, boy, that cactus beer. Oh! Oh my goodness, I, my grandpappy couldn't get enough of that, and that same thing happened to him. Whew. The conversion from man to cactus is not something you want to see twice, you know what I mean? Now, ye Hanukkah. All right, what's up? What's up, Mr. Capo Taco? <laughs> Level with me here. If you keep going west till you can't go west no more, ain't you gonna end up east at some point? No, well, I reckon since since everything's everything's flat, you know, so I reckon if we keep going west, eventually we'll uh we'll reach the edge of the world, you know, edge of the earth, you know what I'm saying? I mean it, it's flat. So eventually, if we keep going west, we'll be about as west as you can possibly be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you have to say, Cactus Bill? Um, that's why they call you Cactus Bill. No, that's just a coincidence. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus? Oh, ha ha! No, it's actually kind of nice. Now, the fermentation processes inside the cactus keep pardon me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it is a mite boring. Whew, I bet, Cactus Bill, I can't even imagine. I, it wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? Oh, boy! I and I do really have a newspaper here in my rucksack on my back, buddy. You don't even worry about it, partner. I have one here for you. Much obliged, partner. Now, let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know my shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at Ore Hole Mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. All right. Thank you, Cactus Bill. This has been a pleasure doing business with you. 
<laughs> now, if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. All right, you got a cactus bill. There he goes, reading that gosh dang their newspaper. All right, nope, I'm not allowed to peek anymore. Remember, Whew, we are not going to talk about my excursion to, to Topeka, you know what I mean? I won't bore you with that tale, but there's a reason they don't let me back in Topeka anymore. Matter of fact, they don't let me within about uh, 200 miles of Topeka, I reckon. <laughs> but if they don't know I'm here, they don't have nothing to worry about. All right, well, I guess, um... Oh, gosh, I stepped in that darn... Gosh, darn buffalo droppings again. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, I reckon we can't go this way yet either, but I reckon we might be able to find ourselves a nice proper horse around these parts now. Wait, what even is April Fool's about this stream? Ain't you always been a cowgirl? Yeah, so it's just called an April Fool's stream just because it's all on april fools but like i'm i'm not doing any kind of april fools like stream you know this is a normal stream you know i figured i'd give everyone kind of a break from all the all the pranks and jokes and stuff on today i just give everyone kind of normal gaming stream to relax after all of the crazy things we've witnessed today you know whoo i seen some crazy stuff back in my day and you better believe i done seen some crazy stuff today whoo so, uh, yeah, I figured I'd give everyone a nice little relaxing, uh, stream time, playing normal old game, being my normal old self, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's just April Fool's stream and name only. Ain't nothing out of place about this. <laughs> All right, afternoon, ma'am. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. Tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All my horse keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes, thank you, please. I'd go fetch it myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 me, me and each for finding them. How many are there? Three. Here, let me see your map. They pretty much always run away to the same places. He draws three little pictures on my map. Oh, boy, the way he's drawing these pictures, I think this man could be the next big cartographer in this town, I'll tell you what. All right, just a new map location or home on. Boring Springs Boneyard and Thousand Snakes Gold. Whew! I can refill my briefcase full of snakes with that gold. I tell you what. Oh my goodness. If my grandma could see that Thousand Snakes Gold, I don't know what she'd do with herself. May she rest in peace. <laughs> All right. Why are these places? I think they like environments that are thematically appropriate. Here. When you find one, feed them some of these oats. That should send it back here. I got a bag of home and oats. Whew! Oh my god, the horses back in my hometown go gosh darn crazy for them hominos. I'm so glad I have some here with me. Yo, does that work? They're special pigeon infused oats. All right, we'll do. See you later. Thank you. It's the most typical horse you'd ever done, dang scene. Whoa, I didn't mean to talk to you again, sir. I'm just browsing. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, sir. All right, it's a haystack. Well, I. Be my mom always said I'd never find a needle in a haystack. Well, I'll prove her wrong. I tell you what, I done found this needle in a haystack. I even found two needles and two haystacks. I don't know what kind of uh, <laughs> what kind of legend they're gonna write about me finding two two needles and two haystacks, but I can't wait to hear it. All right, Mr. Horse, is there a way possibly that I could take you with me? I kind of need to go on a journey out west. I'd like if I could take you with me, but it doesn't look like you're ready for a journey, so I'll leave you be, partner. Don't even worry about it. You have anything? You have suffered up here, boy, down out here. You done? Beg your pardon, lady. Hey, miss, you see my horse around here? Uh, I don't know what your horse look like, buddy. I'm gonna need a horse to go that way. Well, where the heck am I gonna go if I can't go, if I can't go left and I can't go right? My goodness, where the heck am I gonna go? Doctor still closed? Can I go to Topeka? What the heck? Where the heck am I gonna go? Can't get very far on foot now, can I? Maybe we go back in the saloon. Chunk wood from broken inch posts, all right. You never know when you might need a broken board around these parts, I'll tell you what. You find it very funny that I'm so prone to swearing that one can make a death by a drinking game out of it, but yee Hanukkah is rarely sworn at all. The best soap in mouth is to be a cowboy. <laughs> I reckon 
those are some wise words to live by. I mean, you know. You <laughs> well, I reckon what are your favorite curse words around these parts? I ain't I ain't ever really seen much need for some kind of a such language when I reckon all my normal vocabulary get that job done, you know what I mean? But uh, you know, if you'd like to share some of your favorite ones, I reckon I'll try them out, give them a try. Hello? What the heck am I doing with this loose earth? Why can I jump? Can I jump anywhere? Oh, I reckon I can jump anywhere. That wasn't related to the loose dirt patch right there. Whew. That was a little silly of me. All right, maybe we look at that. All right, let's see if we got anything too crazy in there. All right, briefcase full of snakes. Just turn it walking stupid. I could read it to unlock that as an option. I reckon it might be time for some reading or something. Read the book from cover to cover to learn, among other things, that its cover price is way too high. Whoa, boy, I tell you what. But I got a skill called dickering. After you're done reading it, you can use your newfound skills, pawing off on a wide-eyed roof for 60 meat. All right, yeah, howdy. 60 more meat. <laughs> <laughs> that that moment done caught you off guard, whipped it out like a shooting stick. Well, you know, <laughs> I don't know where that phrase entered my vocabulary. I ain't done said that ever before, but I'm glad you found it funny. <laughs> glad you found it right funny. <laughs> All right, let's see what other books we can read. We have Walking Stupid. This book tells tale of a renegade sheriff who's really, really bad at walking. Read this book cover to learn how to walk real stupidly. Stupid walk may add to your options menu. All right, I wonder if I reckon I could walk 300 miles out uh, out west on foot if I stupid walk. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. Well, gosh dang now, nah, but I didn't mean to do all that. All right, hope there's no consequences for all that. All right, dusty turn it. I could eat it. Increases my muscle, mysticality, and moxie for one. Buy one for the rest of the day. I don't know if we have a, if we have time days in this game, so I think I reckon I'll leave it for later when I might need it most. <clears throat> um, Brimley's location away roads. They are healthy and expeditious. We'll send the hostler's horse back to them. Oh, I, well, I reckon I got to find the horse before I can feed him them oats. I was a little, little confused on how that was going to work there for a second, but I get it now. All right, this briefcase, you keep your favorite steaks in. Whew. Well, that makes me wonder if there's Venom Level 3 and Medicine Level 3. I reckon, I don't know if when I use them snakes, if it, if the snakes run away after, if I keep them real safe in my briefcase still. This whiskey too cheap for you to consider drinking it and giving your legendarily low standards as really saying something. Um, all right. Well, I have acquainted myself with the stuff in my done here hip bag travel pack here. Why the heck am I holding my face when I run? I only just noticed it looks like I'm trying to keep my gosh dang head on straight. What the heck? All right. Can't do no trades. Can't do no sheriff. I reckon we might have to go back in that, uh... <gasps> Whoa! My goodness, I don't unlock a new move. I didn't know I could do any rolling. What the heck? How the heck did I do that? My goodness, my mama never did teach me how to roll. I never done seen it. Whoa! I can do some cartwheels, too. What the hell? Oh, this must be that gosh dang stupid walking I learned from that book. We can do some crawling. Oh my goodness, this might be the... This game is such a hoot and holler. Oh my goodness, this might be the best darn game they've ever put out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I reckon I'll go back in soon. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, God jokes, there's a centipede in my backpack. <laughs> all right, Pete, whatever you say, Pete. See you later, buddy. 
You walk like that in real life? Well, I'll be. That is quite a nice, real nice like way of walking, I reckon. I bet everyone that sees you is like, oh, that is a damn fine walker over there. Woo! My, my buddy Billy Bob down on the ranch uh, used to walk like this sometime, but I haven't seen him in quite some time. Really forgot the the pure joy of seeing someone walk like this. Oh my goodness, I just have so many options. I can't believe it. I truly am just in disbelief. Look at all them there options. <laughs> my, you tossing yourself a plenty. Ain't gonna lie, you'd be right proud for circus for goodness my aunt Anne was a circus performer oh my god we ain't done seen her since she ran away to join the circus but i've heard tales of all her performances all over the all over the gosh dang nate now here nation she's gosh dang doing a great dang time there she's really performing her heart out i tell you that sometimes she's sending us postcards and whoo Really seems like she's having a, a right good time round round doing them circus performing. <laughs> you need subtitles for this stream. I don't know why you need it for for this stream and not any others, because this is how I normally speak. I reckon I don't know what the heck you're talking about there, Moose. You know, your name being Moose reminds me of how I once had a friend named Buffalo. And Buffalo's best friend was Goose. And Goose's best friend was Pig. And I tell you what, they called them the, the barn animals, that group of friends there. Real silly, like watching them doing all their little games and being real silly together. But whew, that was some of the bestest friends I ever done did see. I tell you what, but I reckon if your name is Moose, you'd fit right in with them, with them barn animals. <laughs> <laughs> you realized you needed subtitles when I tried saying all right, but instead you said it all right. That's the only way to say it there, partner. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. There ain't no other way to get around that. You come from a family of moose ranchers or something? I don't really like talk too much about my uh, my the moose ranchers in my family, unless you're talking to moose. So I can't really speak for this moose here character in chat, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I really think the moose ranching is really kind of a uh, kind of starting to catch on around the nation. I, I've heard about some uh, some moose ranchers a little bit more east than where we are now, but uh, still out in the wild west, moose ranching really becoming a, a thing. I reckon is what I heard from my from my aunt Sally. You know, hope someone rewatches this and counts the most recurring word in her vac vocabulary. Whew, that's a big word. I kind of messed up reading it there for a second. I I ain't see that one too often. Who? Reckon, dang, I tell you what, it'd be a close one. Who knows? I I have no idea what I'd say. <laughs> sure would be a mystery to count up all them, them, them their words. All right, Miss Bartender, you got any more news for me today? Just thought I'd say howdy. Well then, mission accomplished, I reckon. Thanks, uh, bartender, ma'am. It's nice speaking to you. Let's see if Susie will talk to me yet. The woman glares at you. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowgirl. Who's gonna be searching spit to and for her teeth if she don't leave me in peace? Well, Sally, I t uh, Susie, I tell you what. I already done searched that spit to and I found a mighty fine treasure, so I'd do it again if I had to find my teeth. I'd do it again. Don't even tempt me. I'd do it again. Okay, bye-bye then. Woman glares at you. Howdy, Susie. All right, you don't have any new words. I wonder if I reckon I could offer you perhaps my my whiskey here. But I don't know how to offer people stuff, so maybe I have to do it in dialogue. So I reckon I don't know how that quite works out, so. What the hell am I supposed to do next? Let me look at all my shit. We have our character statistics here. Mostly scabs. It's a perk. I have extra HP now. Been poked some by so many cactuses, your body is built up an entire extra set of skin capillaries just to deal with the constant tiny puncture wounds. Whew! My grandpappy always did say you keep walking in cactus till you get something good out of it. I tell you what. Stupid walking. When you were a child, you wanted to walk so badly. You finally have. Whew! Ain't that the gosh dang darn honest truth, ain't it? Yeah! 
Oh, partner bun with gun. Hope you're having a right, right rootin' tootin' Monday afternoon night. Hope you're having a good one there, bun. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. Hope you're having a rootin' tootin' stream, young missy. I sure am. We're having just a normal old stream here on April 1st this year. I reckon it's uh, pretty normal. Nothing too out of the ordinary, as they say. But I don't know what the heck this game wants me to do next. I tell you what. So I'm kind of just poking around all my stuff, seeing if there's anything interesting to look at. I reckon we might look at our map. Can we click? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, P. I am as surprised as a, as a pig in a, in a dress, I reckon. I did not know that I would be able to travel so quickly to these places if I just clicked on my gosh dang their map. What the heck? Hey, Crafty, have you seen this content warning? Please play this some friends. What the heck does that mean? For serious, I reckon I don't know what the heck that doesn't mean there, bud. Could you please translate that? Or rephrase it? I don't know what the heck that means. I'm a little scared now. <laughs> I rightly reckon I don't know what the heck that means. All right, we have some coal cart right here. Some, steal some meat ore in this cart. Dig through it. 50 meat! Ah, uh, by gumption. Oh, there's, I reckon there's an outhouse right here. Someone said they gabbed their shovel. This is where Bill said to look. Look behind the outhouse. Hey, he wasn't kidding. Not that this would have been a funny thing to kid about, I guess. I reckon I got myself a shovel. Whew. Make your own damn god of the morning. Wait, how did I how did I get on my map again? That's real silly like. What the heck? How do I go left? I mean right. Alright, I guess we can't go anymore that direction. What if I went into this mine here? There, there's a dirty mug here. Some drunkard done wandered out here with his with his mug of whiskey, I tell you what. I reckon it's mighty dark in here. Good thing I have this lantern. Oh, I reckon I know what you're saying now, bun. I didn't make a make hot nor hair sense of it at first when I done read that, but I see now the content warning must be the name of a game. Free on Steam? You and three friends trying to be viral spooktubers. Super silly, but lots of fun. I I reckon that sounds real fun like bud i'll have to give it a try i reckon i'll then uh, write a message for myself to remember later i reckon i'll remind myself later of such a thing sounds real interesting like thank you bud thank you for that suggestion <laughs> all right we have the instructions for the cargo elevator let's examine them here level one blast and cap storage level two plungers both kinds and level three, two. Um, yeah, tools. Where do you want to see in the cargo elevator? I reckon I'll leave that elevator alone till I know what the heck I'm doing, you know what I mean? Whew! Suggest content. Well, I know that's quite a silly phrase without no context, but I also didn't know what the original message freaking meant either. Whew! Um, oh my gosh, looks like I'm riding in the gosh dang cart now. I swear my music for my game just got louder, but I, that doesn't even make sense. I don't know what the heck's going on, I reckon. Oh my god, who done left their gosh dang TNT barrel unattended like this? Whew, back in my neck of the woods, that'll get you in some big trouble. It'll get you in some big trouble, and if you don't get in trouble by your supervisor, you better believe you're gonna be in big trouble when that gosh dang there explosion goes off. Oh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> This looks dangerous. At least there's no plunger hooked up to it. Oh, ain't that the truth? But I reckon I might know where to find myself some plungers. I reckon we might go to level two ourselves if it'll let us in there. Elevator's closed. And in any case, it's not a people elevator. It's cargo elevator. Well, here we go. Plungers. The sign lied, though there's only the one guy. Oh my god, they need to update that there sign if they're gonna lie about how many gosh dang types plungers there are. I swear to goodness, we have a detonation plunger. I reckon I actually don't even know what the other kind of plunger it would be that they're talking about here on that there sign. I never did work in the coal mines, though my grandpappy tell, told me all about working in the coal mines. Let's hook up the plunger to it. Fighting against your instincts for self-preservation. I 
don't have any of those, so I don't know what this game's talking about. You've hooked up a plunger and strung it a fair distance away. All right, makes me nervous, but I think we might have to press a plunger, but let me double check this sign first, see what else we have. Blast and cap storage. I reckon just in case something might were to go awry in this mission that I should perhaps um, prepare myself. Um, maybe we should uh, get all our stuff out before we be going around pressing these here buttons. Let's maybe get some tools, see what it'll bring us. Might be something for later. If I, this whole gosh darn here, my shaft goes up in smoke, I don't want to have lost all my tools in it, you know. The toolbox, but it's locked. I don't know if my grandpappy ever done teach me how to pick a lot. I, uh, pick a lock, I tell you what. Do we think it's going to work, gamers? Just so I got things straight and narrow, can you discuss all your family members and their <laughs> <laughs> well, back, you know, my family, we don't usually use too many first names. We kind of just say, you know, Pappy, Grandpappy, my grandma, um, you know, Aunt, Aunt, so Aunt Sally, you know, um, yeah, but I mean, and then there's my little brother, uh, Rufus, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to bore you too much with details of my family life. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? You making a gosh dang genealogical tree of my family? Whew! I tell you what, that is gosh dang silly right there. I don't want to bore you too much with details of my family life. That's real boring like. <laughs> you want the last name? Like, don't worry about my Aunt Sally. Don't even worry your pretty little head about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bun with Gun. Anyway, partner off today. Hope you have an awesome rest stream. Thank you so much, Bun. I hope you have a right darn restful sleep. Sleep? Sleep? And sleep? <laughs> I hope that bed you sleep upon is as comfortable as a bed full of feathers. I tell you what, I hope you have right darn reckon good ass sleep. And uh, thank you so much for popping in this stream today. <laughs> <laughs> A little long ton of Rufus. Can't wait to get the Christmas card. Woo! I tell you what, I don't know if we're gonna... <laughs> I don't know if Post's gonna get out them them their Christmas cards on time. It kinda takes a you know, the Pony Express kinda takes a long time to to get mail to where it's supposed to go. I mean, it's pretty revolutionary, but it's still, you know, maybe not quite the speed you'd expect to get them their uh, letters and postcards and such, but uh Yeah, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. All right. Um, well, I reckon I'll try to pick this lock. I do have, gosh dang, two needles. So if I lose one, I still have an extra. Managed to unlock toolbox, but the needles ruined in the process. Most of the tools inside are rusted away to nothing, but there's a pretty nice crowbar. I reckon that's a pretty good discovery. I tell you what. All right. I reckon I want to go to level one. Last and cap storage, whatever the heck that is. These crates are all labeled blasting caps. The period is part of the label. That's why it's inside of quotes like that. Oh, I reckon I need myself blasting cap. Pry one of them crates open with your crowbar and grab a blast. Well, I'll be. It's a gosh dang good thing I did that tool first. I needed the tool to get my gosh dang blasting cap, whatever the hell that is. Um. I reckon I might look at that there in my inventory real quick. Real quick like I'll look at this. Buy a device for converting electricity which has only recently been discovered into explosions which are awesome. Well, maybe we have two ways to trigger this here explosion. I'm not too sure. I've already hooked up my plunger. Doesn't look like there's any. Oh, it looks like we can add ourselves a blasting cap. That sounds... I've succeeded in putting myself in grave danger. All right, well, I guess there ain't nothing to do but blow this, blow, blow this mine a mile high, I swear to goodness. To high heaven, we're gonna blow this mine. We are gonna place that plunger, kaboom! Well, I'll be. <gasps> Horsey! I reckon that's a mighty fine horse over there. We'll get some meat from this cart though while we're here. Oh, we can dig. <gasps> we got ourselves a silver 
nugget. Oh my god, my cousin twice removed one tad of silver nugget and she she sold it for less than it's worth. I tell you what, she made a bad trade. Oh my god, that that Mandy never knew how to barter very well. She'd never make it as a snake oil salesman like me, I tell you what. Whew. <laughs> She doesn't have it in her, I'll tell you what. All right, well, you see the dark horse, barely. It's kind of hard to see down here with all this limited light, but we'll approach the horse. Hey there, girl. Um, it's okay, I'm a friend. Hey! A horse shies away from you, though. In this case, it's more like cripplingly introverts, introverts away from you. It's all right, girl, don't you worry about it. Come on, don't be like that. Look, I brought some oats for you. They aren't poison or anything. In retrospect, I guess that wasn't a very comforting thing to say. Oh, that's okay. We'll just feed her them their oats. I know horses love them their home and oats. I swear to goodness. Take a handful of oats out of the bag and hold them out to the horse. Here you go. Yum, yum. She sidles away from you warily and makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding in her own shadow. Come on, please. As you reach out to pat her nose, the horse ducks and steps further back into the shadows. Oh, come on. Don't even worry. These oats are safe. Oh, gosh darn it. Myself prove you know, prove these, them, their oats are safe. I swear to goodness. Look, they're fine. Okay, see? You take a handful from the bag and toss them in your mouth. Ugh. It's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you ever done did eat. Still is better than dry cat food. Don't ask about that one. Whew. Smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Jeez, these are powerful. Horse looks at you warily as you re-enter with a cheerful wave. See? Perfectly fine. I reckon she'll trust me now. You can eat these oats now, little horsey. Frick! The horse hunches her shoulders and seems to shrink slightly as you pat her nose, but doesn't actually flee. So that's something. Maybe now you will eat the oats horse finally seems relaxed enough around you, so you offer her a handful of the oats. Warily, begrudgingly, she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. You turn to look around, but don't say anything. When you turn back, she's gone. All right, well, all right, whoa! What's this here in the corner over here? You bend down, shine your lantern in the crack and rock. You just barely make out a square shape down there. Well, out of arm's reach. Looked like somebody dropped a small metal box into the hole, though you don't know if it was to hide it or discard it. If you're truly desperate to find what's in there, you could try reasoning with the rock. Your primary argument would be a bundle of dynamite. Perhaps you could persuade the hole to widen enough to grab the box. Well, I don't reckon I have my dynamite on me, so we'll have to come back to that another time. Whew. I reckon I might have done all I need to do around here in the ore hole mine. I reckon I'm ready to do some, do some other stuff, I reckon. What do we think? I think I might try to find that up. Yeah, I've had enough horse wrangling for now. I'm ready for some jail door wrangling, if you know what I mean. I'm ready for some thief, thief hunting down, or you know what I mean? I'm gonna find that gosh, gosh dang fricker gang, that gang of thieves stole that jail cell door. <laughs> they don't want to know what's coming to them, I swear to goodness. Let's go to the fricker gang's hideout. Whew. A cousin twice removed, which implies the existence of a cousin. Is this Sally's child? What I done tell you about trying to make sense of my done gosh dang family? Whew! You making one of them family trees for me? I reckon it'll be real confusing like if you try to do that. I wouldn't recommend thinking too much about it. <laughs> you're gonna think yourself into a tizzy if you do all that. Oh, I tell you, my family, you don't even want to know where it begins. Thud Fricker, the Fricker gang's intrepid lookout, appears to be taking a little nap. Well, I don't often resort to violence as a first resort, but, uh... Yeah, I guess I won't. I'll be the good cowgirl today. We'll just wake him up, see what he has to say for himself. You poke Thud with your boot, slowly gets to his feet. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Thud is... Well, let's say he's no Rhodes Scholar if we assume that it's been seven years from now and that idiom makes sense. You feel bad about the idea of killing him. I reckon I better tell you to walk away, Thud. You don't know what you're about to done see from me, but oh, you are not ready for all that, buddy. 
Okay, you're probably right, he says. Stud stumbles off into the desert. He'll probably be fine. I got a perk. I am honorable. I'll take it, game. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I think that's real nice like of you to do that. Look at this decorative cactus here. It kind of looks like a beer stein, actually, I reckon. But it's a cactus, I think. Beer barrel cactus. Oh, gosh dang. My, my great uncle, my pappy's uncle was a beer barrel cactus uh, harvester. He did so much foraging back in the day. I would love to know more about that, but I don't know where I'm going to learn such a skill. Because my pappy's uh, uncle moved away about right around 10, 10 years ago, so I don't know where he done went off to. Probably out further west, but who knows? We ain't heard from him since he left, I tell you what. Aren't you known as a rootin' tootin' shootin' scourge of the west, ye Hanukkah? Well, don't flatter me. I don't need that that real flattery over here. I, I don't know what they say about me around these parts, but uh... Some people are a little afraid of me. Afraid of my power what I can do, you know what I mean? Yeehaw, hello, Top Gun Rock. Welcome back, nice to see you. Hope you're having a rootin' tootin' Monday. Pile of random stuff the Fricker Gang stole. <laughs> I reckon finders keepers. I got 25 meat, a recovered mug, and a pair of silver cufflinks. Sounds rightly grand to me. With all this done stuff I'm done finding, I reckon there might be a horse in here. We're inside the hideout. There's another sleeping idiot over here. One of the Frecker boys dozing in a bathtub. That is not a very safe place to take a little nap, I tell you what. But if I ask him for the soap, maybe he won't think too much about it and he'll give it to me and I'll be able to trade that for something real nice with that, with that bartering man I saw back in that last there town. He mumbles, hands you a bar of soap before sinking deeper into both sleep and the tub. All right, well, I reckon I don't have to deal with him anymore. Cautiously approach the Fricker Gang. Pretty engrossed in their perp game, but doesn't actually require that much caution. Hide behind a barrel and he needs to drop on the conversation for a while. One with the AI patch is quiet, but you gather that his name is Snipe and the squarely one is his brother, Wimpy. What's your play here? Alright, what the heck we gonna do with these here fellas? These here thieves. The dang fricker game's right here and I gotta decide what the heck I'm gonna do. All right, approach them and talk, or leave them without alerting them. I reckon I'll done approach it like the proper cowgirl I am. I'd like to know what the heck they have to say for themselves. I mean, maybe instead of some group of thieves, maybe they're just a, a bunch of misunderstood whippersnappers, you know what I mean? Howdy, boys. Deal me in. One with the eye patch, raise an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? What do you want? Who the hell is Bimmy? I'm here for the sheriff's door. You know what? Well, I'm just gonna cut right to the chase here, bud. I am here for the sheriff's door. I tell you what, I'll show you the door. The door to hell! Oh, buddy, if you want a duel, I reckon I'm always ready for a duel. You don't even know what, you, what the heck you got yourself into, partner. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Wimpy Fricker. Can I... I wonder if I can change my target. It kind of don't seem that I can, unless... Oh, I can if I click! Oh my god, where'd all this freaking stuff come from that just appeared on me? I swear to goodness, I don't know where the heck that stuff came from. Um... Whoa! Well, as I was explaining earlier, I don't have my cowboy boots on today. I slipped into some something else for today's relaxing uh, stream. So don't look too much better. Don't look at them. Uh, don't look at them feet too close. Know what I mean? Don't look at them. I don't like being seen with all my cowboy boots. I'll tell you what. <laughs> all right. Trying to shoot this target will hit a sturdy barrel. And so I see these are some cowards. Real wimpy like fellers. They're hiding themselves behind a barrel. So I might have to resort to some melee attacks. Or we could do some snake whip. I only have one action point, which is kind of worrisome. But I could also pull a snake out of my briefcase, deploy it on your side of the battlefield. It would cost my one action point, but 
I don't know. That might be a mighty fine, mighty fine, reckon safe piece of thing that I could do. <laughs> All right, I reckon we're gonna blow this snake here with a hoot and a holler. That snake has come out. That snake has destroyed that barrel. I swear to goodness. Whew. But now I actually can do myself a pistol whip, and my snake will be here to protect me. I'll be. I'll be. I did almost half his gosh dang health at once. <gasps> oh my goodness, G Willikers, that boy done killed my snake right out with a quickness. What kind of gun that feller there got? I'm gonna have to go ask the gunsmith if I can get one of those, I tell you what. But if I go ahead and shoot my this guy in the front, we'll he we won't have to worry about him anymore, and then we'll just have to deal about that bad guy, but I died! That was a little bit there foolish of me, I reckon. That might be a little done silly. At least they were kind enough to drag you outside after they beat you unconscious. All right, well, did they steal all my items? Do I still got my soap? I reckon I still have my soap, so it doesn't seem too bad of a situation we got ourselves in. I'll tell you what. I reckon I might. Well, I don't know how strong that feller in the back is there, you know. So I don't know if maybe I took him out first, if I'll be a little safer. I might done try that again. I might approach him and talk, and I might uh, tell him I'm here for the door, and I'm ready for, uh, for a fight. I tell you what, I'm going to shoot that guy in the back there. Oh, I tell you what, we're going to shoot this pistol. Yeah, let's go! We don't even have to worry about that fella over there. I tell you what. I done shot that barrel on accident. I need my snake again, I reckon. I reckon I need my snake again. We're gonna do that then there, snake. He's gonna help us out. Whoa, that is not the move I meant to do. I tell you what, I did not mean to do that. I meant to just pull the snake from my briefcase. <laughs> but I reckon we can just do some melee attacks now. Don't have any more action points to deal. At least he'll do some poison damage. That's real nice like. We'll do some more melee. This won't take too long. I reckon he'll just one more hit and he'll be a goner for sure. Oh, these gang thieves ain't got nothing on me. Whew, I'm the fastest gunslinger in the West. Not a holster in sight. Well, I thought I'd, you know, dress a little more casual for you guys down here on the, on the, on the game stream. I didn't really need to be in my full gear today. You know what? You know how it is. Aw, oh, hell, if only that was an indication that you reckon you better go after the ficker with the gun, big gun first, I suppose. I reckon we rightly learned how to do that, and we'll do better next time, I tell you what. Leaders of the Fricker Gang are dead by your hand. Sheriff will be proud of you, though you're not sure how your mother would feel. But I reckon I gained 10 XP from that, and I leveled up my glamour skill. Let's go get that door, I tell you what! Out here in the open, we got that door. This should go back to the surf as soon as possible, I reckon. All right, we got anything more to look at over here, I reckon. Pile of frickers ill-gotten gains. All right, we got some meat, I'll take it. A mug! I reckon I might need to take a, to take a trip to the Sloan as well, return all these mugs I've been collecting. I don't know what this boy's gonna do when he wakes up if uh, we don't restrain him, so I reckon we might need to tie him up, see what happens. Grab a nearby length rope, carefully tie his hands together, then to the handles of the tub. The sheriff can come collect them later. All right, I'll let sheriff know I done did my job to the best of my abilities, I tell you what. I reckon we done did this area for now, though I wish I could forage like my, uh, like my pappy's uncle, so I could get that, that there cactus. <laughs> All right, maybe we should go ahead and take a trip down to the back to the town, I reckon. Um, I'll go ahead and check on the horse. Yeah, don't know how your spider hide in that mama. Thanks for sending back my dark horse. You get 300 meat. Sure thing, partner. Afternoon, ma'am. What can I do for you? Yeah, can you sell me a horse? Sure thing. Should warn you, though. Horses get mighty attached to their riders. Once you bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Oh no. I reckon I better think on that decision. Looks like I'll be able to buy any of the horses I collect, so. <gasps> oh my goodness, we can get this here buffalo droppings out of the way with my gosh darn shovel. I swear to goodness, we're gonna clean up this town one pile of poop at a time. I, uh, I tell you what. I 
I tell you what, we're gonna make this town look nice, prim, and proper. I can even make dig stuff up now. This shovel's really, real nice like it can do some good stuff that I couldn't do before, I tell you what. Let's see if there's any more spots. We have a rock here. Can we do anything with that? No. Okay, goodbye. Alright, what we gotta do? We need to go in here to the saloon. We need to do some trades for all them mugs I done collected. I found these mugs. 100 meat for my bounty. Alright, thank you. Uh, there's probably more out there, but that's all I collected for now. Wheel drop by the sheriff's place. Hello, I got your door. I see the Fricker gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You hand the sheriff his door and he hangs it back on his hinges. Nice work, stranger. They see your prison cell just got about four times more secure. Are there any Fricker boys left up for me to round up? Yeah, one or two that are asleep on the job. I'll go round them up shortly then. Looks like I owe you a reward. He produces a big bag of meat and I get 400 meat. Got another little task for you if you got the time. Should be a lot simpler than the last. What do you need? Well, the Frickers busted the lock when they took out the door. Doesn't need a new lock. Uh, I reckon I'll keep an eye out, Sheriff. Don't even worry about it. All right, I uh, howdy, Braid. I'm ready to dang trade my soap for lock first off. Braid, though you really don't think his name's actually Braid, takes your soap and hands you a lock. Um, maybe with my dickering skill, maybe I might be able to get myself a free piece of dynamite. Madam, I must admit you drive a hard bargain, but I find your terms acceptable. Whew! Yeah, I got myself free dynamite. I feel like it said I maybe needed three dynamite for that little area in that little cave I was in, but, uh... Maybe I'll get some more around here somewhere. I could also take some dynamite for a needle, but I don't know if I'll need to pick any more gosh dang locks. So maybe it's best if I save my needle for now. Let's see. Looks like the medical doctor is still closed for business, but I can go return a lock to the sheriff. I tell you what, there's also a mug in there I didn't see before. How did you manage to scare up lock for my cell? Yep, got it right here. You hand the sheriff the lock. That'll do nicely. The sheriff puts a lock on the cell door, then he accidentally drops a key and it clatters into the cell. Hellfire! Don't suppose you know how to pick a lock, stranger. You got a needle. Oh, shit. Well, good thing I didn't trade my gosh dang needle for a piece of dynamite. I tell you what, I knew that thing was going to come in handy. I tell you what, I'll see what I can do, Sheriff. I definitely picked the lock. I didn't even consume my needle. I'll be. All right, Sheriff. I unlocked a shell for you. Sheriff walks into the cell and picks up the key. Looks around for a place to hide it and eventually sticks it under his hat. Thank you kindly, stranger. If Warren Springs ever gets any more criminals, they better watch out. That's a good job you done. Don't even mention it. Here, have a souvenir of your time in the Warren Springs. I'll be a replica Sheriff badge. I reckon I'll look mighty fine with this on there pinned to my vest, I reckon. Oh, thanks, Sheriff. I had a grand old time rounding up all them fellas. Doing my part to make the world a better place. All right, I reckon we better go find ourselves more horses. I think I might want to keep my needle for now. Actually, I wonder if I can take a trip back home now that I'm thinking about it. I guess not. I don't see home on here to see my mom and dad. I guess I've done left the house for good. Well, I reckon we're going to go to the boneyard, see what bones are over there. And recovered mugs, apparently. All right, we have some tombstones around here. Benjamin Crockett. I knew Benjamin Crockett back in my day. Oh, my goodness. I wonder if this is the same one. Showed up way too early. I reckon if he was born in the 1300s, I reckon he did show up a little bit too early. Especially compared to everyone else. Well, regard skeleton captain, third cavalry. Why can we dig up his grave? No one else's. I don't know if I want to pick fight with the dead. That seems real improper, like. Ye Honica, what way you tend to walk when you're out and about? You a high stepper, a crawler, a one legged spider? Well, it really depends on how I'm feeling today. I feel like this move. Oh, well, you'll have to hold that thought because I done got myself into a scuffle, it seems. I didn't mean to never rightly get myself into this, but uh, when the skeleton wants to scuffle, you got yourself a scuffle. Whew. 
You woke, you woke back up to remember this. Well, hello, Lowell. I hope you get some good sleep, though. You need, you need some good rest for all your mind and, and body, you know? You need some good sleep. You know, I wouldn't really be able to make it as a rancher for all them there years if I didn't get myself a, a good sleep every single night on my on my straw bed, I tell you what. <laughs> You're open as clean. Thank you so much. I done did it myself. My my vest and my tassels and my hat. <laughs> I wear this outfit gosh dang near every day, I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm quite fond of it myself. Thank you for, for, appreciate, for appreciating it, partner. All right. Well, I reckon if I have a skeleton, I reckon a pistol ain't gonna do me much good. You know what I mean? There ain't too much to hit if he's just bone. He ain't no skin and bones. He's just bone all the way through. So I reckon we might need to do a melee attack with my, uh, with my plank. Now, I reckon snakes wouldn't do too much either. There ain't, uh, ain't any skin to poison, so... I reckon we might do a melee attack, I reckon. Well, we got about halfway there. I don't know how much... All right, I think we might win this one if we just keep at it. You know what they say? You say you should never give up, and I reckon I ain't gonna give up fighting this skeleton. I tell you what. We had ourselves a victory, friends. Skeleton collapses into a pile of loose bones. All right, sounds good to me, partner. <gasps> oh my god, what is this? We got ourselves a ghost horse. Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent horse. You approach the weird semi-transparent horse cautiously as to not startle her, though you quickly come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hello there. Hi, I'm a friend, okay? <laughs> That's a little strange. How'd you do that? That opening into your mouth. I reckon I'll pat you on the nose, though. She might shy away from me a little bit. The horses tend to do that when meeting a new person. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were gonna ride her, you'd want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. All right, another nose paddle do her good. Yep, still cold. Well, I reckon I'll try to give her the oats, but I don't think it's gonna go over well. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You hold out a handful of oats for the horse, but she just sort of stares right through you. Please don't look at me like that. All right, let's try the oats again, I reckon. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them, but I don't have anything handy to grind up bones with. Grave dirt? Is that a yes? Weird. Okay. I'll add some grave dirt to the oats. Sprinkle the oats with just a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionlessly at them, then eats them. And with that, she glides away in the direction of town. Well, I'll be. I didn't know that's how you got a gosh dang ghost horse to eat some oats, but I reckon I'll keep that in mind for future horse uh, eat, oat eating times. Well, that sure was weird, but that's okay. I reckon we got ourselves some brambles over here on this side of town. I ain't gonna try to pass through that, I tell you what. But we do have this grave over here. I reckon that's the only thing we about have left. So I reckon I might try to pick a fight with Beauregard, Skeleton, Captain, Third Cavalry. I don't know what else to do. All right, I reckon it'll be the same. Well, it says pistol attack will do seven, eight damage, whereas melee attack only do two to three. I reckon I might try a pistol attack, but what if he dodges? Well, I'll be. I reckon that works, but he done did hurt me. I tell you what. Copper Doc won't be heading for the rest for some gold. I tip my hat to you, ye Honica. Best of luck with the rest of your adventure, and I appreciate that there, Copper I don't know how much longer we'll be going anyway, but I appreciate it. I appreciate everything. I hope you have a grand adventure out west. <laughs> and I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> appreciate you coming by. All right, I reckon I keep shooting this here skeleton, but I'm worried this boy's gonna, kill, gonna get me before I get him, if you know what I mean. Well, maybe we'll be okay, actually, if my pistol be... Keep being my trusty pistol. Well, I'll be. We done did it. You put a stop to Captain Skelton's unnatural animation. Hey, animation! We were done talking about animation down the street earlier today. I tell you what. 
You gained 12 XP. All right. Yeah. Skill up. Mysticality level two. I got an old cavalry saber and I got an item gold tooth. That is, oh my God, what a hoot and a holler that is. Them, their items I just got. I really appreciate that. I reckon we're going to go on to the Thousand Snakes Gulch. Well, they were not lying. There sure is some snakes here. I'll tell you what. Don't want to run into too many cactus, though. <gasps> One of these rocks is really shiny. All right, we got ourselves a shiny rock. Snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. Well, I reckon I might win against a snake in a, in a gunfight. Maybe I could one-shot him if I'm lucky. My pistol does 9, 10 damage and he only has 10. Oh, B, I done did it. I one-shot that snake with the quickness it was. You have slain a snake. Before long, they'll call you Snake Murder and Sandy. Ooh, oh my God, I knew a Snake Murder and Sandy back in my day. I tell you what, that was a real fine lady. I collect one venom and one medicine. All right, very nice. Leveled up my muscle skill as well. Lord knows I need it, I tell you what. Another snake? Well, I guess not called one snake girl. Oh boy, you got that right, I tell you what. Whoa, this snake's tacking first. I don't like that. I think he's done poisoned me, I tell you. But I reckon two good, uh, two good pistol whips do him good. Whew, I don't like that poison. Hopefully this poison don't, don't affect me no more after this battle. I tell you what. Made short work of that long snake. All right, I done collected it. Oh my goodness, how many snakes will it be? This snake looks real angry like. You're gonna need every trick in the book to beat this one. Don't you worry your little head. I am so good with the tricks, you don't even need to worry about it. He has about 20 health, I've been poisoned. I wonder what my snake whip might do. Or I could deploy a snake on my side, which might protect me from a... Uh, from damage, I reckon I don't know. I think I might do some snake whipping. Or maybe he might be uh, immune to poison, but no, it seems that we're actually okay. I reckon this might work out. Yeah, we'll just do some pistol whipping. Oh, there we go. Poison sealed the deal. We done there, did it. Nice work. If the whole cowgirl thing doesn't work out, you could always get it out of a snake exterminator. Leveled up my dead eye skill too. Collected two venison, venom and two medicine. Whew. Let me check on all this stuff I'm getting here. I tell you what, what the heck is it talking about? My uh my my venom and my medicine. Where the heck does that go? Uh whatever. <gasps> horse! This horse has gone snake crazy! Or maybe he was some other kind of crazy before. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? It's cool, all right? Be cool. Don't freak out on me. All right, I'm gonna look him in the eyes. Them crazy horses don't like that. Calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand-yard stare. The other is revolving madly in its socket like he's singing, trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. Looks to be calming down a little now, though, that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders. He carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bounce around that skull of his. That's a good boy. Here's some oats. They definitely don't have any graveyard dirt uh, mixed into them, so don't even worry about it. Feed the crazy horse some of the home and oats and it gallops away with the winning. Or rather, rather, uh, when are you going? Hopefully he's headed home, not into the 12th dimension. I reckon I don't round up all three of them their horses. My goodness, all in a day's work, I tell you what. I tell you what. You don't have to walk all the way back over there. Hit him or quick click the map quickly. Map something travel quickly. I don't need to do that. I like walking on my little feet to all the places I gotta go. I don't know if I agree with all that fast travel stuff. You question your sanity with this game. I question my sanity every single day. Don't even worry about it. I know where it comes from with that, partner. I know what you mean. All right, let's see. Well, I reckon we're about to time to go back to town for now. I also have some more mugs to return, and I might pick out myself a horse, but it's been about two hours that I've done been playing this game, so maybe we're about... about might be about proper time for a... Uh, 
for to end this here nonsense here, but we gotta do we gotta <laughs> We gotta tie up some loose ends first. Let's see what we gotta do. We gotta we gotta return these mugs. And I gotta go see about a horse. Found some more mugs. I got another 50 me. Thank you kindly, ma'am. Thank you kindly. Let's see if Susie has it. Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if Susie has anything else to say today. Woman glares at you. Are you Susie Cochran? How'd you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery, I reckon. Susie scales bitterly and mutters into her whiskey. I saw it happen. Saw the whole damn thing. Couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender said it was cows. Cows, right. I don't know what them things are, but they ain't cows. Not anymore. What happened? It was a raid. See, Mama Pa used to ranch cattle back before... Well, before they came home. Oh my God, don't even get me started about when the cows came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead. She left me the place when she passed. Go on, uh, Susie. <laughs> well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked a couple days ago. Happened so fast, I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Kill smashed it in the front door, and a fire started out back by the root cellar. House went up in blazes, just like that. Well, what'd you do? I, there wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire, and I saw Tim trampled right in front of me. I just, she drains her glass. I ain't want to talk about it anymore. Don't you worry yourself about it, Susie. I know all about not wanting to talk about your past. I have a lot of those them there stories myself. I, you know, I mentioned a couple of them in passing today, but I didn't want to get into too many specifics about my family dynamics. Might be a little confusing for, for some of the, uh, some of the folk in here understand. <laughs> when I talk about my second cousins too much, I get a lot of questions. <laughs> but anyway, that's okay, Susie. Appreciate you talking to me. He refills her mug from a bottle on the bar and doesn't reply. What will you do now? Head west, I suppose. Doesn't keep me here, no desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It was Ma's rifle. It's all I got left of, of anybody. Well, where is that gosh dang rifle? Left it at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Well, I reckon I done been doing all kinds of adventuring today. I reckon I can do that for you, Susie. I know exactly what you mean. I'm always here to help a friend in need. Susie shows you on the map where a ranch is. The Cochran Ranch. Well, I'll be. I'll, whoa, I didn't mean to talk to you, bartender. I keep gosh dang doing that on accident, I tell you what. Fuck. I mean to do that either. Don't even worry about it. I done running into everything today. That guy's still sleeping all right. Everything's in order around here. I reckon I'll go see myself about a horse. And then I reckon we might be ready to, to end our adventure today. <laughs> <laughs> all right horse is a thousand meat all right well i reckon i don't know if my horse decision is an aesthetic decision or if my horse is gonna do any kind of bonuses depending on which horse i pick i reckon i don't really know what kind of horse i want maybe if i talk to him looks like my pale horse made it back safe thank you for your help anytime partner thanks for trying to find my crazy horse too he was eating loco weed again wasn't he and 300 meat. Not that I noticed. That's all of them. Can't thank you enough. Here's a little extra for you. All right. Well, let me ask him about his injury earlier. He said something earlier about an in injury? Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking out in the showroom. Don't ask how. It's embarrassing. Gonna get Doc Alice to have a look at it, but she gave up doctrine. <gasps> Doc Alice gave up doctrine? Oh my goodness, why'd you do that? Nobody knows. She just shut herself up in her office. Said she wouldn't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Not an actual nurse, or... Pretty sure she was just being sarcastic. Well, I have some good news for you, feller. I have myself some Nurse Whiskey in my backpack. I tell you what, I'm gonna go give that to her, then I'll come back, and then maybe I'll end stream. I tell you what. I have some whiskey. Whiskey delivery for you, Doc. What brand? Nurse Whiskey. Just how you like. Your favorite, I'm led to believe. Didn't know she makes house calls. All right, hold on. Gear rattle as she unlocks the door. Well, hello, Doc Alice. Doc Alice looks to be about in her 50s. Her hair is graying and her face is lined, but her eyes are still clear and sharp, if bloodshot. She holds out her hand. Whiskey, stat. 
Well, I reckon I don't have any other use for this dang gear whiskey, so I reckon I'll give it to you. Cracks open the whiskey, feels a small flash she takes out of her pocket. Then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Jeez, Doc, that doesn't seem too healthy-like. Who's the doctor here, you, me or you? All right, point taken. Well, anything to help a friend in need. And he doesn't look like it sees too much use. We'll pray on ourselves a little. Ew, I'm looking real nice like now. Hey, Doc, can I look at your books? Sure, if you want to. Not they're gonna do me much good in this doomed, forsaken hellhole. You should try being less chill for Doc. All right, all medical textbooks set for a few. What do we have here? Legends of Curly's Meat. The Life and Works of Fred Ferguson. The Goblinoid Tongues, a primer, or we could make like a tree and leaf. I reckon I would like to know more about goblins, I'll tell you what. You start flipping through the Goblin Language book. It's confusing at first, but eventually it gets so engrossed that by the time you take break from reading, several blurfs have passed, and you'd also know that blurf is a goblin word for hour. You learned how to speak goblin. Sorta. Alright, I reckon we can keep reading them. I thought I could only pick one. Let's hear about Legend of Curly's Meat. I knew a boy named Curly back in my day. <laughs> not Curly, not Lori. Sure were quite a couple. I tell you what, I didn't think they were ever going to get together, but they sure did, I tell you what. The book tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meat, secreted in the hidden sense, not in the extruded sense, in the western desert by an old cowhand named Curly Butterfield. Well, I'll be. I had no, I hate a clue. All right, this last book here, this book purports to be a Civil War surgeon's autobiography, but flipping through it mostly just find a list of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad. So it's actually a work of ludicrous speculative fiction. Ha ha ha. At least there are some useful appendices in the back and some diagrams of appendices. Well, I'll be look at our XP. I reckon I done learned something from this here book. Stove is spotless. Either she's really compulsive about cleaning or she never cooks. Wow, shouldn't this TNT be further away from the fireplace? I do reckon that is a little bit suspect that we've done have that TNT so dang close to that fireplace. I wouldn't want to be in here for, for a minute longer than I have to. All right, Doc. Oh shit, we have some more words to share. Doc Alice continues to pour whiskey down her neck, occasionally stopping to breathe. Um, is everything all right? That depends on how fast I can get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. And I can't talk and drink at the same time, so... Declares at you manifully. So, uh, what's the matter, Doc? What's the matter? Whole damn world's gone to hell in a horse cart. You asked what's the matter? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one and I'll drink to that. Dead men walking? You ain't seen it? Corpses and skeletons staggering around like puppets with half their fists out looking to take a bite of the living? Oh yeah, there was that skeleton I saw in the cemetery. It's nice to get some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. But how is that even possible? It is impossible! Goes against everything I know about medicine! Dead patients don't get back up! Patients? Oh, ouch. Doc Alice turns away, grimacing. Every doctor loses one now and again. You never get used to it, but, well, it happens. But what doesn't happen is him coming back afterwards looking for revenge. That must be pretty rough there, Doc. Rough? Missy, I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients, it's neighbors, friends, husbands. Turns away from me and focuses her attention back on the bottle. All right, Doc. Well, I best be taking my leave, I reckon. Oh, shit. We sure have many things to discuss with you, I bet, today. Do you have any idea what's causing all them resurrections? You heard a rumor that it's when you get incomplete information from an unverified source. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what I heard is that there's a fellow out west that's causing it. A necromancer, they call him. Supposedly, he's sending magic out into the world somehow. Magic like the bean slingers use? I never heard of any bean slinger raising the dead, have you? Her scale deepens. That'd be one hell of a can of beans. All right, I have a couple more things I'd like to ask you, Doc, if that's okay. What's with all that TNT? I tell you what. When I feel like I'm about to go, I can blow myself into bits so small there won't be nothing to come back. Oh my god, Doc, that seems a bit drastic. Drastic? Hell 
hell no way am I taking the risk and becoming one of those things. Fair enough, I suppose. I don't know if I'd want to be a zombie myself. But what about that necromancer? Assuming he exists, what about him? Well, maybe someone ought to try and stop him. Doc Alice gives you a sharp look. You? Because I know you ain't talking about me. Why not you? A gray-haired old woman that knows the most about fighting has a squirrel no surgery? Did you hit your head on a bar stool, kid? You aren't that old, Doc Alice. If I were to pick someone to go up against a necromancer, it'd be someone who knows about death but in a scientific way. A doctor, right? Doc Alice stares hard at you, takes a swig from her bottle, and says nothing. Sounds to me like you got plenty of motiva motivation to get the job done for your friends and everyone. She continues to look at you, see the gears turning in her head. It's doing nothing anyway. Beats locking yourself in a house full of TNT and drinking yourself to death. You ain't even doing any doctrine anymore. She winces and looks away and then shakes her head slowly. You seriously expect me to ride out west by myself chasing a rumor? Don't have to be by yourself. I'm heading west too. Tag along with me and maybe we can find the guy and put a stop to him. It's crazy. Impossible. Possible like raising the dead is impossible. Alice crosses her arm and regards you thoughtfully. A spark slowly brightens in her eyes. All right, kid. What the hell? Let's give it a shot. Oh, boy. Talking to Doc Alice done, done did ourselves some good. I feel like I'm saving the gosh dang world one person at a time. All right, she wants me to know when I'm ready to leave. I reckon I need myself a horse for that. I didn't know taking a, talking to Doc Alice was going to take myself so long. I still need to pick myself a horse. I'll tell you what. I thought maybe I'd be able to tell my guy Doc Alice to maybe reopen her shop for business, but it doesn't look like that's an option. All right, what kind of horse? I'm not real feeling the normal like horse, I reckon. I feel like I need something that matches me a little bit better. But I kind of like all the horse options we have left. So I'm not too certain what kind of horse we may want. And I mean, this this man here did say that the crazy horse might have just been eating himself too much loco weed. So maybe once the loco weed wears off, maybe he's a, a mighty fine horse at the end of the day. <laughs> but our ghost horse is pretty cool too. And look at him, he can float, I reckon. And that's a mighty fine characteristic in a horse. Back home, we don't have any floating horses, I tell you what. I'm a bit partial to the crazy horse, I reckon. All right, I made my decision. Hopefully, I don't regret it, but I sure would like that crazy-eyed horse. Okay, but I gotta warn you, this horse has seen some, uh, some stuff. But I'll sell him for a thousand meat. Is something wrong with him? No, not as such. He's perfectly functional. But... Well, he's always sneaking off to Thousand Snakes Gulch to chew on the loco weed that grows there. And that makes him see crazy things? I think it's more like he does it to forget about the crazy things he sees all the time any me anyway. Well, color me intrigued. I'll take him. Alright, I reckon we got ourselves a horse. Oh! name for our horse it's suggesting tam but what do we think we should call my horse i reckon i might like the name uh let's see here i might like the name horse i reckon or i could name my horse after myself sandy or my horse could be annika i heard that's a nice name too <laughs> But I reckon we always have tried and true name horse. I reckon that's a good old name for a horse, I tell you what. Am I sure I want to name my horse horse? You bet your butt I want to name my horse horse. All right then, horse a horse. Got a nice ring to it. You bet your bum it does. All right, almost forgot. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. I got myself a southeast-west map. Ah, ain't that the cream on the top of the milk oh my goodness i have myself a horse come here let's ride you wait is that gonna automatically take me out of town all right whatever i guess we're i reckon we're about ready to end things up i done did a lot today i done traveled west i got myself a horse and i done help my fellow neighbors in need i think i <laughs> I think I accomplished a lot today, I reckon. I really appreciate all of you chatters in here coming out today to see my totally normal gaming stream. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> hope you 
you had a grand old time today doing all this. Um, I reckon I'll see you guys next time since we're on YouTube today. We don't have any kind of raiding situation. But, uh, I really appreciate all you coming out today. Say, having a hoot and holler with me, saying yeehaw. You reckon I reckon myself. Thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. I reckon I might see you next on, uh... Um, when is that? On Saturday when I'm having a, a collab with my with my friend um, playing Overcooked. So uh, I reckon I might see you all then. And otherwise, I'll see you all later. Have yourself a hoot and a holler. I tell you what.